What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So at time of making this video, yesterday Intel had their stream at CES 2026 unveiling a lot of their information for their upcoming chips. But the thing that we're most interested in here is the third series of that Core Ultra, the Core Ultra 300, which should be used in laptops and handhelds. Now what's surprising is the past couple of years we've had announcements for these handhelds well ahead of time. I even had MSI Claws pre-ordered by now, but this time we hadn't heard anything about handhelds. So I was happy to see that they did talk about it here in their stream. So we'll go ahead and just take a quick look at this. I'll jump around the stream a little bit and talk about what they've got going on here. And of course, I'll care more about this when we get it real world and in our hands. And when we get to the end here, they do announce some stuff with handhelds. But yeah, their Series 3 Intel Core Ultra, and they are gonna have quite a little lineup here, a lot of ability to kind of customize the way this is gonna be put together for different customers and that type of thing. A lot of scalability, a lot of efficiency, and that type of thing that they really were focused on this time as they went through this thing, even to the scaled graphics and the ability to really adjust depending on what they are going to be using the chip for, or what their customers are gonna be using the chip for. It's supposed to be much, much more efficient even than last generation, which was impressive with the Core Ultra 200, and I'm still using my Claw 8 AI Plus a lot here. And again, if you watch the stream, a lot of the stuff that you'll see that comes out of this chip is their real focus towards power efficiency across this platform of the Core Ultra 300 altogether, which is something that if you're going to be in handhelds and laptops, it does want to be your main focus as long as you're drawing enough performance out of that to increase generation over generation as well, which it does appear they'll be able to do here with performance and battery life, especially over the last generation as they are boasting somewhere around 50 to 80 percent when it comes to like performance and that type of thing, completely depending, of course, on the games, apps and things that you're working on and what you're doing but obviously built for ultra low power 27 hours netflix streaming with a 99 watt hour battery at least what they claim here and again hands-on will be a lot of fun to compare this chip to the core ultra 200 we have in the msi claw 8 ai plus they talk a good bit about gaming and graphics and that type of thing i think we'll see quite a little bit of a jump when it comes to what we have now in the core ultra 200 but again, I always take this kind of stuff with a bit of grain of salt. I always like to get real world and play the games and compare them to really see for myself first charts and all of that. But I am excited to see some stuff coming from XESS 3 because I think they've got some of the better technology. I like DLSS more, but I do like XESS more than what AMD has done in the past couple of years. And again, they talk about their performance leap over last gen and all that type of thing here. And gaming, they're gonna be talking about rasterization and of course frame generation and upscaling and all that with XESS3. It could really combine to be a nice thing with that next chip and that next stack of software that they're working on to kind of put everything together and make it work. Hopefully a lot of the XESS3 stuff will also work on the Core Ultra 200, but that's not something I've gotten into and confirmed or anything like that. But I really like their frame generation and their upscaling and stuff, so I'm looking forward to seeing what they'll have next. But with the handhelds, they do have some stuff listed here as far as partners. We got Acer, MSI, One X, GPD, uh, Windows, of course, and them in here. I'll be interested to see who's going to be coming out with what. I'm hoping MSI will have an obtainable handheld I can get here more easily to check out because it's something I would be really excited about. And they did say that later this year in 2026, they are going to be announcing and getting into the handheld stuff with their partners and talking about a specific platform of Core Ultra 300 chips for that which is pretty exciting. And they've continued to update and cover the Claw 8 AI Plus that we have now. I recently put out a video over the new BIOS, which seemed to help me with some performance in some of my games, not that we necessarily needed it, but it was working even better. We've continued to get constant updates from Intel on the NPU and graphics drivers, Wi-Fi drivers, Bluetooth, and all that. And just all in all, this has been a great handheld for me the past 12 months. I should probably do like a one-year review on it but i was excited to actually hear about the core ultra 300 that's actually on the way and not just for laptops which will be launching this month in january 2026 but for handhelds hopefully with more of them from more companies that we can get a hold of and check out coming later this year in 2026. So not a lot for me to go over here. I just wanted to kind of talk about this a little bit. We do have stuff on the way, and when we do find out more later on about what kind of handhelds we can expect with this chip, I'll do some more videos. I'll still be covering the MSI Claw 8 AI Plus, and I look forward to getting one of these newer chips in hand when I can. All right, guys, thanks a lot for coming to check out the video as always, and I'll see you in the next one.